companies that are doing, you know, they're doing digital transformation, but they're not changing their core, I guess, process or core workflow. As far as I can see, they're doing great deliers that has now reinforced why I, I will be a customer of theirs always. And, and I'm giving an example. Sean, how you doing, man? Hey, hey, good, good. Good to see you again, brother. You too, you too. How's uh, DT been treating you? Oh, it's been a crazy busy <laughs> time, man. Yeah. Um, you know, when it first, when it first hits, um, companies, my clients were scrambled to transform and yeah. you know make sure that they can still operate into some degree and um, now we're you know in September time frame we're entering a different stage where um, companies that had to reduce or had to change in some way it's no longer a temporary thing but on a day forward basis we are now going to operate differently and mm -hmm. more strategically mm -hmm. um, where we could be from anywhere so it's been overall a pretty exciting time um this has been a unique year with a lot of um really cool and exciting things so yeah i, I agree i i think it's i mean i know there's some negatives to to what's happening but i i see some a lot of positive changes that's been taking place and that's actually what i want to connect with you mm -hmm. is what have you been experiencing uh, doing digital transformation yourself during this time or experienced. Um, I have a couple that uh, I wanted to bounce off you and thought if you see similar trends and uh, if there's any others, feel free to add. But examples that come to mind is, are we making digital transformation change? Not because we have to, but we're also considering the customer experience perspective. One thing that um, we want to not lose hold of is the value added, right? So sometimes we rush to make these digital transformation changes from the customer's perspective. And I'm gonna give an example, like, which is, you know, to get my groceries to me uh, very, very quickly, um, to uh, allocate, make sure that's the right inventory so that when I'm selecting online, I get uh, what I'm purchasing. But that is what you want to enhance and that's what you want to automate and that's what you want to make more efficient. But there's some other components I call, you know, value added. The conversations that I'm having one-on-one -on -one with uh, a customer, those are critical components that you don't want to rush. You still want to make sure that you're able to meet with your client, with your customers, you're able to talk with your customers and not feel that there's, yes, I got you your items quickly, but I am also rushing off the phone. So we just got to be cognizant that when we're designing these DT solutions, that we're also making sure that the value added is maintained or even enhanced, like further enhanced. As you can imagine, uh, a lot of calls went back and forth between customers and and um, and the clients and uh, rushing them off the phone or have the inability to reach out to them is also going to be uh, a setback. Even though you've done many digital transformation solutions that will positively impact that customer, if that value added has been um, deferred or lost or decreased, sometimes that does worse. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I couldn't agree more, um, especially around the customer experience. And I find that um, the customer experience is tantamount to them becoming a customer in the first place. You know, for mm. example, you go to Starbucks and they're just giving me my coffee, but the fact that they call out my name, it, it's that personal touch so just right. a little bit more than just here's your coffee um sean sean here's your coffee you know so a collection of little tidbit experiences that i take away as a customer um make me want to come back and through a company's digital transformation um knowing that the the lighters are the things that um made me a, a fan or a customer to begin with are still present in mm -hmm. the future um, that's, uh, that's what I totally value. And, um, you know, I want to, from a customer perspective, I want to ensure that though they're changing, they haven't forgotten about me or why I became a customer of theirs, uh, to begin with. Yeah. That's a great example too, because, uh, when we reach a certain stage of the COVID, 
that was still intact. You're, you're right. Uh, they still <laughs> called my name when that infamy, when that cup was ready. So mm -hmm. it's a great point. But yeah, so I'm seeing that as a trend that we just got to be mindful not to, you know, um, forget that component, right? The, like you, I think you put it beautifully, which is this is the whole reason why I was a customer in the first place. You don't want to lose that. You want to gain by doing some of these DT solutions, but you certainly don't want to lose that aspect. Um, a second is then ultimately is the employees, right? So we're doing a lot of digital transformation for the customers, which makes absolutely sense. We don't want to lose sight and not think of DT solutions for the employees. One, are we doing something that is going to make inadvertently make it worse for the employees? So yes, it's a benefit to the customers, but your own staff, your own employees are getting the brunt of all this uh, DT. So it's not making life easier for them. It's actually making it worse or additional. So we got to be mindful of that. Um, or the fact that you are now uh, making sure that your customer has easier solutions, are you also applying easy solutions for your employees? Uh, what comes to mind is the number of meetings. Uh, now that we're traveling less back and forth, at least for me, traveling back and forth for work, you're losing that hour and you're getting that hour back into work. Now, I've seen some organizations they've done it well where um, yes, um, the meetings are still existing. It's not like meetings are going to go to zero, but they're cognizant of now that I'm imposing more meetings on you. Is there a better way that we can manage it? One, certainly everyone can manage meetings better, but I like there's one organization that I was consulting with that um, they made it a cree that if you're not an active participant in this meeting, so you're a passive listener, you just need to be a part of an update and just to maybe add any info if called upon, you know, go for your walk, you know, put your headphones on, go for your walk, be on mute and listen to that call. I thought that was quite amazing being that now people's meetings or hours has increased by maybe 10, 20%. But the fact that you're able to be passively walking and listen to that meeting, that makes a big difference. That's an example that comes to mind for me, but uh, I like the fact that they were doing DT solutions for customers, but also not forgetting about their own employees. Yeah, yeah I couldn't agree more. And you bring up a really good point. Um, several friends of mine, you know, some of them are having to work late hours, you know, give up all their summer vacation time. Um, one of my friends, you know, works in the school board and um, having to restructure the number of kids that will be available per class and breaking them into smaller, smaller classroom sizes mm. over tens of thousands of students um, for the entire school board. Um, there's a lot of database um, data manipulation, data configuration behind the scenes. and. I see how, in that example and, and others, you know, I see how hard they're sacrificing their time, um, especially in today's day and age. Um, the thing about it I find is, um, and I, you know, I find these people to be the real heroes, um, especially during this DT that we're going through. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the, I find what keeps them at the table, keeps them motivated is that internal culture of, you know, with their local leader, you know, they just have a, um, bond of we're all in this together a, a spirit of uh, collaboration and cooperation with each other um, that permeates not only from the staff to the leader but also amongst the people themselves you know it's just much much easier to go through and sacrifice their time and help the company um, through a change when you know your your team members are right there mm -hmm. um, willing to row growing in the same direction with you you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and um the final thing of that you know it's not always immediately apparent but when me and as an employee i can see the customer gaining some sort of value from it um, yeah is another motivator as well in, yeah good um, point in in how the employees benefit good point good point um another sean that i'm seeing as a trend and now the examples i give is is ones that I've consulted in personally and or been part of. But this, you know, as we walk outside, as we do everything when we're not consulting and not working with clients, I can't turn it off, right? So I'm always being a part of digital transformation, always looking for it. And companies that are doing, you know, they're doing digital transformation, but they're not changing their core 
I guess, process or core workflow, as far as I can see, right? Maybe, you know, they're like, you know, ducks where they're all calm above the water, but they're crazy spinning below. But um, they're doing great deliris that has now reinforced why I, I will be a customer of theirs always. And, and I'm giving an example. So both my boys uh, were graduating. So one is graduating from public school, going to high school, one graduate from high school to go to university. So uh, naturally we had to get suits. So even during this COVID time and they were doing virtual graduations, we got them uh, suits and we went suit shopping. The delighter for me was um, the, the suits that they tried on, I saw them putting those to a side. They weren't hanging them back. And I, I must have asked because I'm so nosy or I just can't turn off that, that DT mindset. I was like, oh, so um, no, they're not going to take those or taking this. They're like, oh, no, no, Carl, um, sir, we're putting those aside because we're putting markers because those ones we're going to clean. So those have been tried on. So we have a process now that any suit that's been tried on by a customer, we put those aside. We don't put them back out to the front. We get them professionally cleaned and then we bring them back in. And I was, I just thought that was absolutely amazing. Now, it's, I'm going to say, I think that's digital transformation because it wasn't automated yet. I'm sure they weren't using the RFID tag and changing the status like some other companies are trying to do right now, but they certainly distinguish themselves to me because they already have a process. They made it so that um, they adjusted slightly. So it made me comfortable, made me feel safe. And it wasn't added work for the employee because it's already an existing process, which is to put things aside and have them clean. They already have a cleaning process. They already mark jackets to get them clean. In this case, they've added this condition and I've saw it. So now I'm also realizing that the suits that my, my sons tried on were already cleaned. So they have me as a customer for life. I'm certain that I would love to work with them actually, but I'm certain they're going to automate that process. Now you maybe put some RFIDs or some sort of asset tags that can distinguish the status of one item compared to another. But that's an example of, I'm not part of this company. I've, I wasn't working uh, with them, but I saw it from my own eyes, how they, considered the customer and they also consider the employee um, when they did this absolute change. So I think that's what I'm seeing as trends and, and I, I love it. I absolutely love that. Yeah, I can see that um, there's like a double a double winner there. Um, not only are they, they um, <clears throat> protecting you, you know, um, and ensuring that everyone's having a clean suit, but also um, is almost a degree of care that they've put into it you know it's a very special occasion with the kids graduating um mm. and going with daddy to get a new suit and then <laughs> realizing that the suit is now just for you it's going to be professionally cleaned it's just yours and um you know at a time where we have to be super clean you know they're physically demonstrating to you know we've got your back let me mark it so it goes and gets professionally cleaned Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I almost want to go to this suit company too. No, <laughs> <laughs> you looking for a suit now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Market. So yeah, no, those are, those are incredibly strong. Um, yeah. But right. Right. See how I explained that. And you're excited about that company and that's DT at its best. Right. I just think that's a phenomenon. Absolutely. Yeah. And Any, I, did you see on your end or sorry, go ahead. I um, cut you off. Yeah. Just further to, uh, Further to what you're saying, I, I think that uh, continuous improvement um, definitely plays heavy. Um, digital transformation, from you know my experience and helping people through it, it begets other digital transformation, right? Mm, so, mm, um, for right. example, I just um, finished a process automation for, for a client, and um, where something used to take about four months to do, um, and it's now down to three days. Um, and uh, the rough end result is four months to three days. That's that's amazing. Yeah, significant time savings. Um, and uh, so it gives them a pocket, roughly give or take, it you're rolling to about 20 hours each uh, per month of all of these people. Um, time that they didn't have before. And 20 hours, you know, over the course of a month, you can water that through, say, like, like it's not a big deal, but mm. you know, if you harness that 20 hours now that you have per month and you didn't have 
before, what could you do differently? Right. And that has um, inspired them to come back to me and say, now we'd like to take this concept, this automation we've done and apply it to different areas. Um, we want to now connect um, our filing system uh, together so that we can re remove rekeying data from one platform to another. Mm. Um, so based on just one transformation, it's beginning additional ideas and they have both the creative time to think about it and the impact of having a 20 hours back in my hand now per month um, have caused them to rethink things and um, it's creating that spiral effect where we're like, oh, we can automate this, we can automate that have all, mm. and just continue to reap additional time, additional cost for the same quality of service. So um, yeah, my, my big takeaway these days is uh, digital transformation begets digital yeah. transformation. I really like that. I really like that. I like that phrase. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting times. I mean, again, there is a struggle. I'm not trying to take away uh, some of the things that are happening around us, which is, you know, impactful in a negative way. But I'm starting to see some positive trends that I just I just wanted to talk about and, you know, bounce those uh, thoughts from uh, with you and see if you're seeing similar and Wonder maybe if there's more. There's definitely more out there. This is just what I'm I'm seeing from what I experienced. Yeah, well, we definitely you know we'll uh, um, definitely open it up to the floor and uh, okay. Um, definitely encourage other other um, thoughts and feedbacks and opinions. Um, uh, what you've learned from either conducting or living through digital transformation in today's mm -hmm. environment. All right. Cool. So um, other than that, I hope those suits fit nice and nice and tight. <laughs> yeah, the pictures came out well, man. They they did awesome. well. Yeah. Even that was innovative. I just the what how the schools handled their graduation. I thought it was just it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right on, right on, brother. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, good okay, catching man. up, and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, okay man. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. All right, man. Talk to you.